Yes, my name is the Ladies Guide, your emotional wellness guide. Every Monday morning, giving you seven minutes of inspiration to grow your life, to elevate your life, and to personally develop yourself. So every Monday morning, we give you these small, small things in only seven minutes to make your week go well. Uh, Mariam Nabuja is the author of three amazing books entitled The Ladies Guide. Ladies Guide to Fulfilling Relationships and to Happiness is our first book. That is Ladies Guide 1. Ladies Guide to Emotional Happiness. That is our book number two. And Ladies Guide Journal. That's our book number three. So... Cake Paradise, Proof by Research, and Silagen Switzerland are some of our partners for this year who have worked in harmony with us to bring you this amazing content to grow your life. Just to remind you that seven minutes of inspiration is to grow your mind, to grow your mind, to grow your thinking, to elevate your life. Because man is a total sum of the books you read and the people you meet. When you don't grow the mass of your mind, it shrinks. Just like how you don't work on your body, your body muscles can shrink. So is the mind. So our muscle in the mind needs constant development to enlarge it by giving it, by feeding it with uh, useful content, with uh, growth kind of content to see changes in your life. Today in our 7 minutes of inspiration, we are going to be talking about change. When do you tell it's time to change? How do you let go of the old and welcome the new? In other words, when does the universe give you new things? Actually, when you deserve new things from the universe. Because most of the time, we get stuck on things which don't work. We get attached to things which are no longer supportive to us. And we lose the possibilities of transformation. One of the writers uh, quotes saying... Um, when you refuse to let go, you try to keep things the same and you end up holding on to people and situations you shouldn't, then you will ignore possibilities of transformation that is presented to you. In other words, people who do not change year in, year out, month in, month out, have ignored the possibilities of change. In other words, Every day that the universe opens up the sun for you, it is a little change. Every six months I told you, someone is coming into your life, someone is leaving your life. So when you get stuck on old things, old situations, old places, old careers, old homes, old everything, you do not give the universe a chance to bring you new things for you to enjoy yourself. So how do you tell actually that it is time to change. Or oh, how do you tell it's time to release the things? And when does the universe communicate to you that it is actually time for change? I'll read you a number of things that you need to know when the universe is trying to make you change when you don't want. If you miss one of the shows about decision making, I request you go type Mariam Nabuja, decision making. Uh, there's a video I talk about how to make decisions. But this time around, we are looking at these key pointers that the universe is trying to communicate to you that it is time for you to change. Number one, you get a brick wall feeling. You feel you're blocked. Nothing in your, nothing is coming in. Nothing old is getting out. You feel stuck. So if you feel stagnant in a relationship, if you feel stagnant in a career, if you feel stagnant in a job, in a business, it may be time for you to let go and open the universe to new possibilities to give you new things and you may receive them. Number two, uh, you feel that bit of discomfort. Have you been in a situation where you feel you're uncomfortable with a relationship, with a friendship, with a business, with a career, with a place? When you feel you, you, it has outlived its usefulness to you. When you feel you don't like it anymore, when you feel you're uncomfortable with it, and the feeling is recurrent, recurrent, and recurrent. My dear friend, the universe may be communicating to you that it's time for you to change. How to let go? That's a topic for next time. In other words, this is just to remind you that every time you refuse to change, every time you block progress, every time you stay stagnant 
and stuck on old relationships which are not supportive. Every time you stay in an abusive relationship, you're closing yourself out to the possibilities of change where the universe wants to supply you something but it finds your hands full. Remember, the universe, the universe only harbors vacuum. In other words, where it finds space, it puts something. So create that vacuum. How? Let go of old clothes. Give them away. Donate them. How? If the career is not moving forward, make some new changes in the career. Take that leap of faith. How? If the business is no longer supportive and bringing money, it is time for you to change something in it. It is trying to communicate that something is not working. So when you get stuck on old, the new will never come in. Always remember, the universe only occupies space, which is empty. If you are having multiple relationships, you can never have one meaningful relationship. If you're juggling many jobs here and there, then which one can we bless you with? Okay? So most of the time, you don't have what you want because you are holding on to things which have passed their usefulness. Learn to tell when to let go. Learn to tell when to drop off some things. Learn to tell when the universe is trying to tell you that it's time for you to change and adapt to change. That is our message for today. And always to remind you that these minutes of inspiration is to remind you of the things you overlook. If you've been asking yourself questions on how to change, should I change? Should I let go? Should I stay? Should I, you know? The answer is feel it in your comfort. Peace is a communicator. If you're peaceless about something, it is time for you to let it go. If you're peaceless about the staff who works for you, it's time to let them go. If you're peaceless in an environment, it is time to leave that environment. If you're peaceless about something, something, anything in life, the universe harbors vacuum. Love you so much and see you again next week.